Hereford in full are Curtis Pond in goal, unchanged back four of Aaron Skinner, Kyle Hawkins, Nathan Cameron and Jordan Cranston. Midfield will be Oriol Teixeira and Dylan Barkers with Lasana Mendes and Stanley Abinna out wide with Alex Babos playing behind Kobe Arthur. Substitutes for the Bulls are Adam Livingston, Tom Hewlett, Connor Stanley, Oliver Southern and Adam Rooney. So Tamworth have Jazz singing goal. Back four featuring two ex Hereford players, Jordan Cullinan Lybird and Jamie Willits, alongside Matt Curley and Callum Cockrell Mollett. In midfield, it's Ben Mills, Nathan Tushakuna, and Jamie Jellis. And in attack, another former Hereford player in Kyle Finn, uh, with Dempsey Arlett John and top scorer from last season, Dan Creedy, completing the lineup. Back f- uh, def- d- substitutes for the Lambs are Brad Gascoigne, Callum Riley, Alex Jones. Ty Deacon and Kai Williams forced to, to share and Babos in the D goes down wins a free kick right inside the D this will be a great free kick opportunity for the Jazz Singh in goal was, was the Telford goalkeeper when Harrison beat them in the FA Cup first round a few years ago Cranston hits it beautifully but just a little too high just caressed it towards the top right corner needed to be Cameron on the half inside to the Tamworth half gets a bolt and now Harrison have lost it through Skinner Chance for Tisha Kuna to break towards the box. Squares it for Creaney. Has to check. Left-footed shot. Oh. And it's an easy save for Pond. Almost collapsed on it down to his left. But oh. Hereford gave it away. And all of a sudden, Tamworth were outnumbering them on the counter-attack. And in the end, Hereford just did enough. And it was a fairly tame shot from Creaney. Flick, flick on from yeah. the Jazz Singh free kick. Kyle Finn with a good ball in. Oh, it's oh. an easy chance for Creaney. And a second chance is put in. And it's Jordan Cullinay Lyburn who couldn't miss and Tamworth lead after seven minutes Kyle Finn put a dangerous ball in Creaney should have scored and uh, somehow the ball looped its way to the path of Clonanay Lybird who had an empty net to find from around six yards and after Hereford's bright start Tamworth have found the back of the net Tamworth clear Pond calmly chips it over Creaney to Hawkins who's his charge down Creaney is offside, but it doesn't matter because Ben Milne just smashed it into the back of the net. Well, Creaney quality, left yeah. it, and Milne's fired it home. It was terrible communication involving Curtis Pond. Nathan Cameron is going over to the referee. The referee is going over to the assistant because was Creaney affecting play? Because obviously Pond wasn't sure whether it's well, just wasn't sure whether to come or go. And Ref- offside oh. is the decision. Finally. <laughs> the goal is ruled out. Because oh. I think Dan Creedy was affecting play, oh. arguably. Oh, Creedy right. gets there ahead of Cameron. Now to Shakuna as a man to his left and all at John. They're trying to take on Skinner. Goes outside. Low ball oh. in. And oh. Creedy got something on it. And uh, Babos goes up, as does a binner, trying to hold it. Can't get it to stick though. And another shot comes in, and it's just wide of Curtis Pond's post. He was a corner for the Lambs. Plenty of height in there, as we know. And it's a chance for Tishikuna at the back post. He should have got it on target. Arguably should have scored. But he crossed from him towards the back stick. Little flick header. Always a chance, though, at the far post. Could be go anywhere. And it's in the back of the net. How has that gone in? And it's Creedy that wheels away and celebrates. Again, it's defensive ca- calamity for Hereford. Not sure how somehow that worked its way to the path of Creedy. And he taps it in from almost on the yeah. byline with Pond and a Hereford defender flat on the floor. Not a great diagonal ball for Wally the Southern. Straight to Kyle Finn on halfway, breaking forward. That'll be a free kick, might be a yellow card as well. Dead centre just outside the D. It's going to be Milnes again, and it's just over the bar, looking for the top left corner. He's on to see to... Oh, to Shakuna right. looking for Arlett John, left side of the box, oh. straight into the midriff of Curtis Pond. To Shearer, to Skinner. Now Barkers, nicely round the corner to Skinner, charging forward. Two or three in the box, there's a decent cross, chance for a bit of the back stick, gets oh. his foot to it, but wide of the left-hand post, but... Probably Hereford's best moment of the uh, half. Yes, yes. It was yeah. uh, a good ball round the corner from Barkers to Skinner. A good cross and a binner busting a gut from the left-hand side. 
got a big high foot to it, but he couldn't divert it goalwards. Well, we need Skinner's runs down the right hand side are possibly the best outlet for it at the moment. Abinna's not getting past his man on the left. But, uh, you know, if the ball does go in the box, then we've got to be so careful, otherwise their centre halves will swallow it up. Into the last uh, few seconds of normal time as uh, Tamworth have it wide left. Arlett John out to play for a Hereford throw. Looking for an official's board, but uh, can't see one. Or no obvious signs of one. Again, Arthur got caught late. Again, the referees let it go. And Tamworth can break on the right-hand side with Kyle Finn. Onto his left foot, inevitably. Leaves it for Tushikuna to shoot. It's a great effort. It's a good block. Cameron oh, and Southern between them. And it's out of play for a throw. In from Cullinane Lybird. From Willits. It took a deflection, though, and... Uh, Cameron clears for another attacking throw. Corner for Tamworth. Willett's up and over the bar. Oh, it's kept in play, no. Oh, it's volleyed in by Kyle Finn. Of course, Kyle Finn. And now it is all over. Tom Hewlett's been on the pitch a couple of minutes, but there's nothing he can do now. Hereford at 3-0 down. And it was a Willett's header from the corner that looked like it was going over but it actually went to the right hand side and I think Hereford expected it to drop out for a goal kick it was kept in play it was turned back towards the six yard box and Kyle Finn smashed it through a crowd into the back of the net and Tamworth have a three goal lead and it's more 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 questionable defending lose by an even heavier scoreline Cranston with a cross oh there's a header and Jazz Singh tips it onto the post and once again chance for Baybos with the follow up but some desperate defending but heroic defending has put the ball out for a corner when Baybos was about to tap in a rebound but it was a as the throw comes in Willits going up again Hereford not dealing with it and it comes for a crowd again and it's in the back of the net again and it's Kyle Finn again and it's 4-0 from a long throw. Simple as you like. Cullinane Lybird's throw. Half cleared to the edge of the box. Kyle Finn had a go and it went through a crowd. Curtis Pond didn't move and it nestles in the bottom right hand corner. And Kyle Finn has two against his old club. Almost two identical goals. To Shearer helping him out, but it's Kyle Finn looking for the hat trick. Kyle Finn shoots. Just wide oh. from 18 yards. Somebody it opened up it for him. It got a little nick. Yeah. And it goes it wide for a corner that. instead. But uh, he knew, as soon as he got that ball, he was head down, driving towards the D. And he wanted to wrap his left foot around it and bury it. But it got a tiny little nick. And without it, it might have been the most absurd thing of a Kyle Finn hat-trick. <laughs>